fighters and bombers from Japan's first air fleet toward Pearl Harbor. And so confident of total surprise are the attackers that as they approach the island, the coded signal indicating a totally successful surprise raid is flashed back to the carrier task force before the first bomb falls. Tora, 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 Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. A single remote radar station had spotted the incoming raiders. Ruckus took them for a flight of B-17s due in from the mainland. The B-17s arrive and like America itself, find themselves in the middle of a war that had not been declared. Yes, this is Tora, 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 the surprise Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. We've taken you back to that fateful day on December 7th, 1941. You are there. The B-17s arrive and like America itself, find themselves in war. The attack from the Japanese aircraft carrier, Akagi, Akaga, hear you, saw you, and two new carriers, as an hour and 45 minutes, the first bombs began to fall. Bombing down four pilots, Kenneth Taylor and George Welch, were just returning from a night on the town. These two brave pilots raced to their planes, which were fueled and armed with 30 caliber ammunition for aerial combat practice, and quickly found themselves right in the middle of the real thing. The two second lieutenants caught up with the Japanese at Iwa a marine base at Auxiliary Field close to Pearl Harbor and Hickam Field. After shooting down two Japanese bow dive bombers, Taylor and Welch ran out of ammunition, landed at Wheeler Field near the center of the island. There, Taylor and Welch reloaded with 30 and 50 caliber ammo and took off to fight again. These two brave pilots are credited with downing a total of six Japanese warplanes before their own planes were disabled. Both pilots received an distinguished service cross for their actions that infamous day. Yes, this is December 7th, 1941. The surprise Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. We've taken you back to that fateful day. At Pearl Harbor in Hickam Field, the devastation was awesome. On the eastern edge of Ford Island, in the center of the harbor, seven battleships landed. Oklahoma, West Virginia, Tennessee, Arizona, and the Nevada. The Japanese hit first with eight torpedo bombers, like the one you see coming in from the right now, with the torpedo hanging underneath it. The initial wave of eight hit the Oklahoma, California, Nevada, West Virginia, and the Utah. Let me tell you, folks and kids, these cakes were equipped with special shallow running torpedoes designed specifically for the attack on Pearl Harbor. You see, the shallow water at Pearl Harbor would not allow the use of normal deep running torpedoes. This removed any claim that the Japanese could have that the Pearl Harbor attack was an attack of opportunity. It was very well planned, and we've taken you back to that fateful morning of December 7th, 1941. You can imagine what it must have been like with 183 Japanese Zeros, like you see the one diving down right now from the left. Kate torpedo bombers coming in from the left over there. Bow dive bombers behind the gates. Yes, you are there. This is Tora. Tora, Tora. The surprise Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. After the Kate torpedo bombers came the bow dive bombers, like you see coming in from your left right there. Armed with 1,700 pound armor busting projectiles, made for 60. Thompson stepped out of his guard shack, drew his 
Six battleships were damaged our greatest naval base, lay in ruins, along with our complacency. The following day, December 8, 1941, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt announced our entry into World War II. With these words to Congress, the citizens of the United States, and the world. Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. 
It will be recorded that the distance of Hawaii from Japan makes it obvious that the attack was deliberately planned many days or even weeks ago. The attack yesterday on the Hawaiian Islands has caused severe damage to American naval and military forces. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. In the 44 months of fighting that followed, the United States sank every one of the Japanese aircraft carriers, battleships, and cruisers of the Pearl Harbor Task Force. Nagasaki, the city where the special armor-busting bombs were made, was destroyed by a U.S. atomic bomb on August 9th of 1945. And when the Japanese surrender document was signed on September 2nd, among the U.S. warships in Tokyo Bay was the West Virginia. Would you please join me in a moment of silence in memory of all those who lost their lives that infamous day. Go. And now, as we listen to God Bless America, sung by the great King Smith, allow me to let you know that we do not need to glorify war with this demonstration. 